back to my channel in this video I show you how I created this eyeshadow look and it is another tutorial using the Morphe X Jack on Hill Volume 2 palette and if you are new to my channel I have done another two videos using this palette so I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out but also I just want to say excuse the mess in the background I do mention it later in this video but I'm just trying to sort everything out in this new studio room I have going on so yeah please ignore that miss in the background but yeah I really hope you guys like this look and video if you do like it please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel also be sure to follow me on Instagram and all my other socials I'll have them here some on screen and listed down below in the description box also I think um by the time this video goes up I will have changed my Instagram handle because I just don't like the underscore and I've kind of outgrown the XO and it's Martina is taken so I think I'm going to do Martina Val. Um, I don't know, I'll see. Yeah, I really hope you guys like this look and video. If you want to learn how I created this look then just keep watching. Okay, so this is my first time filming in this room so I feel like it's a little bit dark from looking at it in the viewfinder. Um, so bear with me, I'm sure I'll get it right the next video after learning from this one but yeah this is my first time filming in my studio and I'm so excited so yeah um, I just quickly did this eye off camera because I wanted to test out this style of eyeshadow because I haven't done anything like it before I mean, I've done similar things but not like to this extent if you get what I'm saying so yeah I really wanted like a super deep out of corner and I just wanted to test it out off camera first to make sure it will work and I actually really really like it so I'm going to show you guys how I created this eyeshadow onto this eye. So yeah, let's just get started. I am using the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette for this look. So yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have this palette already. If you don't, you can use other palettes as well that just have similar shadows. So firstly going in with this Morphe M456 brush. I'm going to be picking up the shade Not My Journey and mix it in with a bit of Temptress, which is the black shadow in the palette. I don't want to go in with straight just black because I still want it to be like a deep purple. Also, oh, pick my color lip kits. I'm glad you can't really see my mess in the background, but probably when I zoom out, you will be able to see them. But anyway, I want it to be a super deep purple. So mixing in a dark purple with a bit of black will just give it a bit more darkness, which is what I want. So I'm going to mix those two shades together and just pack it on the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it out slightly, but not too much. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of Not My Journey just on its own and pack on top of it and blend it out a little bit. Now I'm going in with this Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH37 brush and I'm going to go in with the lighter purple shade Therapy Sesh and I'm just going to blend out the outer corner and also bring it in to the inner half of my crease as well. And I'm just working with a really light hand. And I'm going back in with the Not My Journey dark purple shade. Using that same Jaclyn Hill brush. Make those two shades I've already applied together. I don't want it to be like dark and then light. I want something to kind of meet them in the middle. And I do want the outer corner to be as dark as possible. Now I'm going back in with the M456 brush and mixing the shades Not My Journey and Temptress once again to add more depth to the outer corner. And I'm just going in with this flat shader brush. This is the Morphe M124 and I'm just spraying it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Also, oh my god, I cannot believe I did tell you guys when I started using this palette, but shout out to morphe like i cannot believe this has happened but they reached out to me like a couple or so weeks ago and um i am part of their glam fam so i do have a discount code for you guys unfortunately i don't remember it on the top of my head just because it came on a piece of paper and the piece of paper fell behind you can't see but i've got like these cupboards back here um with all my makeup in there and the piece of paper fell behind it so now i've got to figure out a way to take it out because um it's way too heavy to move and i'm not going to take everything out of there and move it so 
I just need something long to kind of try and pick it up with. But um, yeah, I do have a discount code. I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. You can get $5 off your purchase. And yeah, I'm so, so, so excited to be able to finally provide you guys a discount code because I know so many of you guys um, buy Morphe products because I always suggest them because I truly do love them. I've loved Morphe since like 2016 when I started using them. You know, when the 35F palette was like all the hype. But yeah, anyway, I got a bit sidetracked. Use my discount code for $5 off. Morphe! Can't believe I could say that. It's so exciting. But yeah, love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. For me to be able to get this little discount code for you guys. And also, I know that a lot of influencers have a 10% off discount. But if you use my $5 off code and your purchase is less than $50. So if you just want to buy one palette and... You know your purchase is less than $50 you actually get more than 10% off um, so yeah that's pretty damn good so make sure you take advantage of that now I'm just gonna go in with the shade I'm in it and just apply that to the inner half of my lid And now I'm going to go in with my ring finger and apply more of that shimmer to the inner half of my lid just because I want it to be like metallic and I feel like this shade kind of applies a bit better with the finger. I just would have liked if this shade was like more metallic but we can work with it. And I'm just touching it up wherever to tie it in together make sure the eyes match as well okay now i'm just gonna go in with a makeup wipe to clean up the edges and underneath my eyes okay so now i'm just gonna do most of my face makeup off camera just because i do want this video to be mainly focusing on this eyeshadow look but i will show you guys like my blush and highlight and that sort of thing um but if you do want to know what products i use on my face i'll have them all listed on my instagram so check that out um if you're not following me on there already but yeah i will be right back don't mind my mess of a hair and i'm sorry the lighting's gone a bit darker now the sun's kind of gone behind the clouds right now so Sorry about that, but hopefully I can fix it in editing so it's not so dark. Also, as you can see now in the background, my background is super messy. Just like my life has been lately. I'm sorry, just please ignore it. Hopefully by the next video I've cleaned that all up, so just ignore the background. Also, I just have some baking going on here, so just ignore that for the moment. But now I'm going to go on to highlights. So I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the loose highlighter in the shade Extra and I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics J02 highlighting brush to apply the highlight and I will be applying the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to the brush first. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in doing like a Q&A video because I feel like there's so much I have to update you guys on. But if I do do a QA and a video, I will be asking you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there. Because I'll probably post something like on my Instagram story or something telling you guys to ask me questions. Um, but only if you guys want that kind of video. I did get requested to do a QA and a video. And I thought it would be a good idea. Because I do have quite a few things I feel like I have to update you guys on and stuff. So let me know. If you'll be interested in that. You guys, I'm sorry my hair looks so messy right now. But don't worry, I'll fix it up at the end of this look. Okay, now I'm going in with blush. And for that, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade Winter Kissed. I'm going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. Okay, now I'm just going in with this brush to wipe away the bag. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this smudger brush and mix the shades Not My Journey with Temptress like I did for the outer corners. And I'm just going to smudge that along the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with this like diffused kind of brush and I'm just going to go in with that lighter purple therapy sesh and just smoke out my entire lower lash line and I'll also be connecting it to the upper shadow. Ok 
Okay, now going back in with my flat brush and spraying with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'll just be going in with that I'm In It shade, which was that white purple iridescent shade I used on my lid. And I'm going to smudge that along the inner half of my lower lash lines. Okay, I'm also going to apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. And now going in with my face highlight to highlight my brow bones using the same flat shade brush. And I'm just going to blend out the brow bone highlight just so there's no harsh lines and I haven't picked up any extra shadow by the way. Just blending out the highlight. So now I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. I'm just going to get in with my Fenty Beauty Mascara for my top lashes. And I seriously love this mascara, you guys. I don't apply too much of it though when I wear falsies because I'm going to put falsies on anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. I just apply mascara so it can blend in with the falsies. Okay, and now quickly off camera, I'm just going to apply my falsies and I've got these Morphe ones. These are in the style a little extra and I will be right back. And one thing I like about these lashes is that is that they're wispy but they also get thicker towards the outer corner so I feel like they match this look really well. But yeah, now I'm just going to go in with this Colourpop Chrome Gel Liner in the shade Crybaby and just apply it to my waterline. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with this Colourpop Mascara in the shade Purple Prose. It's just a like purple mascara. I'll see what it looks like and if I don't like it, I'll just apply normal black mascara. Okay, I feel like it's a bit of a different purple so I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Black Mascara and just apply that to my lower lashes in the head. Okay, so that is it for the face. We're going to zoom out to finish off with the lips now. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear some noise in the background. My neighbor is currently washing his car and it's quite loud. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but it's loud in person. So I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Lip Kit. You guys literally look at how short this lip line is. And I'm just going to apply this and then I'll be applying a gloss after that. Okay, I'm not going to be able to use this. Like it has literally run out. Just tried to sharpen it, but that's it. It's had its day. I'm really sad about that, but I'll just go in with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea instead. And then I'll use the Kylie liquid lipstick on top. Just gonna try and blend the two together with my finger. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe gloss. I actually sent this one to me. It's in the shade Rosé. And it's got kind of like a purple iridescent shimmer in it. So I feel like it will match this look really well. So just going to apply this gloss. It's my first time wearing it actually. But let's see how we go. Okay, there we have the look. So now I'm just going to fix up this mess of a hair. I'm sorry I had to look at this for so long. And I will be right back. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and learned something from it. You guys already know the drill. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and all my other socials. I'll have them here somewhere on the screen and listed down below in the description box. And once again, let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me next. If there are specific looks you want to draw on or if you want to draw using a specific palette or hauls or a Q&A like I mentioned in this video just let me know in the comments down below anything you would like to see from me next but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on my next one